Brakatayawa, Brakatayawa Shai, Brakatayawa, Brakatayawa Shai, Brakatayawa, Brakatayawa Shai. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rekakwadash. I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone who do rule and teach well. And I want to give a peace and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing this truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right. It's the brother Yarah, Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the body and edify the sheep in all spirit, faith, truth, sincerity, and doctrine. All right. So this is a video or uh, um, a sit down uh, that I came across. Um, this is uh, Apostles Live. All right. Great Millstone, uh, 34th Street, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but the name of the video is GMS Indoor Ministry. All right. Posted uh, February. It's like January 30th, uh, 2022. All right. And um, if brothers haven't checked it, if brothers haven't seen this uh, sit down, uh, Baba Kesha, you know, go over to the elders pages, you know, go over to the apostles page and, you know, check it out. But um, through the spirit, the reason why I'm, I'm actually making this uh, lesson um, is because of uh, something that was mentioned by the apostles in this sit down. All right. Or in this indoor min ministry or, you know, so. uh Apostle Tahar had mentioned, uh, you know, having, uh, you know, leaven, you see, having leaven, you know, with, within, uh, within, within the, uh, the uh, camps. Okay. And, um, pretty much they didn't dive too much in, you know, into like, you know, the leaven part, you know, but, you know, he made a great point through the spirit, you know, and, uh, that, that's what actually inspired this video, you know, so Lord willing, this is edifying to the body and to feed the sheep through the spirit and poverty. How about Shimei Shai? All right. But one of the things uh, one of the other things he also mentioned about leaven is that, um, you know, how uh, uh, how uh, unleavened bread is actually really healthy for you. All right. Unleavened bread is actually really healthy for you, which is true. You see. But what about uh, uh, um, because there is leaven in bread. Right. You know, we we, we you know, eat bread that is, um, you know, you know, uh, fluffed or puffed up bread. Right? you know, rise, right? Or, you know, risen. So uh, too much yeast is actually really, really uh, detrimental to you, okay? It can it can actually get you really, really sick, all right? And, uh, you know, that, I'm using that as a, uh, as a, a metaphor for, you know, these other camps, all right? You know, hell, even, even, even Great Millstone, all right? Even Great Millstone, man, you know, because it all starts with the head, man, okay? Matter of fact, let's get that scripture, Baba Kesha. Um, let's see, so are the people. So like, yeah, see if I, you know, let me see if I can find that scripture. Let's see here. Yep, here it is right here. The book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 10 and verse 2. All right. And it reads... As the judge of the people is himself, all right, that being, you know, the uh, the uh, heads of these different camps, all right, you see, just like our apostles and elders, you know, here at Great Millstone, starting with the apostle uh, Tahar, okay, it says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are the officers, and what manner of man the ruler of the city is such as so like such are all they that dwell therein. All right. So however, whatever spirit the head of these different camps are in. All right. It's going to trickle down, man. OK. And everyone else under un, under that head. OK. Or that leader. OK. Is going to fall into that same spirit, man. All right. You see, and going back to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. All right. You know. They have, they have, you know, you know, you know, you know, uh, uh, made that mighty clear. Okay. Made a lot of things mighty clear, man. But, but we're speaking on leaven. Okay. You see, because this is a body, man. Okay. Great Millstone is a body. All right. Just like Sakari is a body. IUIC is a body. ISUPK is a body. HOI is a body. All right. And so on and so forth. Okay. You see, these are, these are, these are, these are, um, you know, bodies. Okay. A body of men. All right. You see, and like we just read here, man, you know, how, how whatever spirit the head is in, man, the hey, the rest of the body is going to fall into place, man. All right. With under that same spirit. OK, 
You see, and the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man, have made it have made a lot of things mighty clear. OK, but one thing is speaking on leaven. OK. All right. When there's when there when there's leaven within the body. All right. You're supposed to cut that off, man. OK. You're supposed to cut that off. All right. So let me go back. All right. We'll come back to that. But I want to go into this uh, scripture here. All right. This is the book of uh, First Corinthians at the top here. First Corinthians chapter five and we'll start at verse six all right salakia you. you know because this is a uh this is a epistle that paul all right apostle paul you know wrote to the uh the uh, church of corinth all right because there was a lot of uh there was a uh, a few things all right that was uh you know that the church was doing that that was a uh, wicked man all right you see and hey and and, and and hey that that's 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 the um the uh, sign of you know a humble you know uh, uh um you know a humble and um so like i can't think of the word but you know you know a head that that, that that's actually taking charge man okay all right the scriptures talk about you know um you know uh um pretty much you know that we're supposed to watch out for each other's souls okay so lucky i can't think of the word you know how right is that comes back to me but if a brother thinks of it of, of that exact scripture you know baba kasha posted inside of the comment section for edification's sake all right but we're supposed to watch over each other's souls man all right you see the scriptures also uh, talk about open rebuke is better than secret love man okay we're supposed to correct one another man all right that's a part of the ministry man reprove rebuke and and, and exhort okay you see not just not not just break a brother down but build them back up as well you see all right so so you know we're supposed to watch out for each other's souls man all right you see if we love each other man we're gonna we're gonna correct each other man you know whenever need be okay whenever it is needed man all right so that's exactly what apostle paul you know was doing right here all right but let me get to it first corinthians chapter 5 and verse 6 and it reads your glorying is not good all right through the spirit that's that, that's actually the name of this this uh this uh, lesson all right because i don't want to single out anybody you know you see i don't want to single out you know any any camp or any camp heads you know but but you know we we see we see we see examples of this going on right now in an in alarming rate all right you see and and that recent example is sakari all right but it says your glorying is not good all right let's go into that word glorying all right you see you, you see the greek word there all right and it says from g from g2744 a boast all right so boasting man okay you see it says in a good sense or bad sense boasting all right wherefore to glory to glory of glory and rejoicing okay you see so boasting man all right you see there's nothing wrong with boasting if you're boasting in Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai, all right. But when you're boasting in yourselves, all right. When you're boasting, when you're boasting in yourselves, all right, in the flesh, man, all right, that's not good, man. All right, that's why. That's why. That's that's one of the reasons why um, Apostle Paul said that right there, man. Your glory and is not good, all right. And, and and you see examples of that in all of these different camps right now, man. All right. Like I mentioned earlier, man, the the, uh, the uh, latest example is Sakari, man. You know, these guys, these these guys are boasting, man. You know, you see, it says your glory in is not good. Know ye not that a little leaven leaven if the whole lump. You see, all right. So so we have we have to cut out that leaven, man. All right. What is that leaven, man? That 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 old man. All right. So like, it. let me keep let me keep reading. Let me keep reading. All right. Verse, verse 7, it says, purge out therefore the old leaven, all right? That's that old man, all right? Now, what is the old man for those that, you know, maybe maybe new to this faith, okay? What is the old man? That's that old person, man, all right? All of those old ways, you know, uh, uh, the old attributes, the old ways of the world, you know, that you were involved in before coming into this truth, man, all right? You see, you, you might have been in, you might have been a, idolater or an adulterer or adulteress all right you might have you might have you, you might have been you know you know involved in the world in different ways okay you can think of you know different different um examples okay but being in the world all right you see 
You're supposed to cut that off, man. You know, when you come into this truth, man, all right? You're supposed to start shaving that off, all right? Shaving off that old man, all right? That old leaven. It says that ye may be a new lump, okay? So we're supposed to be a new lump, all right? You see? It says, um, as ye are unleavened. For even Yahweh Shai, our Passover, is, is, is sacrificed for us, all right? And guess what, man? Yahweh Shai was that sacrificial lamb for the entire nation of Israel, all right? But on this side, all right, right now, in the, in, in the last days of Esau Edom, okay, only for the elect, you see? Only for the elect of the nation of Israel, all right? You see? And guess what? Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai didn't have any leaven, man, all right? You see? I know that there's a doctrine going around, you know, but pretty much, no. Yahweh Shai, man, hey, the scriptures are plain and simple, man, all right? Make that plain and simple, man. He was that perfect sacrifice because he was perfect, man, all right? He didn't sin, all right? He didn't have, he didn't have any blemish or anything, man, okay? You see? And that's what we're supposed to be shaping ourselves up to be, all right? That, Yahweh Shai is the ultimate role model for us on this side, man. Okay, Yahweh Shai is the ultimate role model for us on this side, man. All right, Yahweh Shai might make a lesson on, on that later. Okay, you see, Yahweh Shai is the ultimate. Okay, you know, the ultimate ideal of, you know, you know, you know, uh, uh, um, level that, that, you know, we want to reach in, in, in this truth, man. Okay, did he not say in the kingdom of heaven, man? All right, if we, you know, Yahweh Shai would be of that number. But, you know, did he not say in the kingdom of heaven, the elect, all right, was going to be joint heirs with him, all right, to the throne? You see? Come on, man. All right? But we got to earn that, man. Okay? We can't we can't be walking around, you know, with, uh, you know, b being uh, niggas with fringes on, man. Talking about keeping the law, man. Okay? We can't do that, man. All right? That's out of order, man. All right? If you really value your soul, man, okay? If you really value the kingdom, man. All right. You see, if you really value, if you really value and care for your neighbor, man. OK, you have to cut that shit off, man. Excuse my French. All right. Verse eight, first Corinthians five and eight, it says, therefore, let us therefore, let us keep the feast. All right. Not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, man. All right. Let's go into the word malice. All right. It says, um malignity all right malice ill will all right desire to 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 uh to uh injure you see and that's and, and that's what these other camps are doing man all right along with these other you know uh, uh, um you know these are uh, christian apologists all right coming coming at the you know you know the uh the uh, body all right of a of a great millstone all right you see that's what they're doing man they have they have ill will intentions man all right that's malice, man. Okay. You see, it says wickedness that is not ashamed to, to break laws. All right. Because you have a lot of these camps talking about keeping the law, the law, the law, the law. What about the law of, you know, uh, uh, um, um, I'm serving Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Loving and serving and obeying Yahweh Shai, man. Worshiping Yahweh Shai. You see, that's a law. You see. But they don't want to talk about that, man. All right. It says, uh, continue reading, verse 8. It says, neither with, with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth, man. All right? You see? And that's why we always start our lessons off, you know, you know, saying, Lord willing, this is edifying to the body. All right? And to feed the sheep through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. All right? In all faith, truth, sincerity. All right? You see? Truth and sincerity, man. All right? And that's why, and that's why the apostles and elders always say, man, hey, hey, we have, we have the hundred percent truth, man. All right, but let me go to the eleven, okay? All right, because, because you know, that's that's the metaphor, all right, as far as you know, the body of these different groups, all right, including Great Millstone, all right? You see, and 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 and, and uh, having that yeast, man, okay? That's one thing about the apostles and elders, man. All right, once they spot, you know, uh, um, through the spirit, man, or once they get, you know, get get you know get a wind of you know a little leaven within within the body okay within the body of great millstone man all right you know bro brothers try to correct it if correction doesn't work they cut it off man okay there's been a lot of men that have came through great millstone man okay 
You see? Men, men, men that were great teachers, great talkers, great speakers, okay? Could break down scriptures, you know? And everything, man, all right? But guess what, man? They became, they became that leaven, okay? That didn't want to be corrected, all right? Rebuked or approved, okay? And what happened, man? They, they, got, they got cut off, man, okay? They got kicked out, you see? But that happens, man. That, that has to happen, man, okay? You see? And all it does is put fear inside of the other men, okay? That, hey, man, look, I don't want to do that and get kicked out, you know? This is the reality, man, okay? So I typed this out of Google. Um, why is leaven, as you can see at the top, why is leaven bad for you, okay? Why is leaven bad for your body, man, all right? So right here, uh, one of the responses was, we see it most, we see it most as bakers or brewers, yeast. However, when taken as a supplement, uh, live baker's yeast can can cause uh, intestinal uh, gas. All right. And, and, and in this sense, man, you know, you, you see a lot of these hits or a lot of these, you know, you know, you know, leaders in these other camps. All right. Being gassed up, being puffed up, man. OK. Being puffed up, you know, with uh, pride, man. You see, let's go to that right quick. Um, no. Nah. So like you. Let me go to it. This is First Corinthians eight and one. All right. So this is the book of First Corinthians, chapter eight. All right. And uh, verse one, and it reads. All right. It says, "Now, as touching things offered unto idols, we now it's like it's like we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifieth. You see that? Knowledge puffeth up, man." All right. Like being gassed up as they as they say in the world, man. OK, you see that whole that whole, uh, you know, uh, um, slang or slogan. All right. Came from 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 a, from, a, you know, you know, seeing seeing men being puffed up. OK, you see being puffed up with knowledge, man. All right. Thinking they know it all. You know, when to tell you, you know, oh, no, 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 that's not the truth. This is the truth. Right. Knowing that they're wrong. All right. But they had. But 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 that but that stems from pride. OK, that stems from from uh, pride, man. All right. One of the things that the Lord hates, man. All right. A, pr a proud look, man. All right. And you can tell through the spirit, a proud look on a man. All right. Hell, even a woman, man, especially a woman. All right. But when you go into that word uh, puffeth. All right. It says um, to make, let's see, uh, the sense of blowing or it's like the, the sense of blowing to inflate. All right. Make proud. See right there. Make proud. See, that's pride, man. All right. It all stems from pride, man. OK, you see. But the Lord say he says he deals with the meek and the humble, man. All right. We just read in first Corinthians chapter five. All right. About about, you know, uh, uh, um, what was it? Verse verse eight, you know, about, you know, uh, uh, um, 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 you know, doing his truth. All right. In truth and sincerity, man. Okay, you have to be sincere in this thing, man. You can't be proud and sincere. You know, you see. Come on, man. You can't do that, man. I mean, you can be sincerely wrong. You see. <laughs> All right. But when there's pride behind it, man, there's nothing sincere about that, man. All right. You know you're wrong, but hey, man, you don't want to be. You don't. You don't want to look like an idiot. You don't. You. You. You don't. You don't want to be. Um. You know. You know. Found out as a. As. As. As a somebody that you know, is a liar or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. All right. And that's what it stems from with these guys, man. All right. A lot of these guys know that they're in the wrong, man. A lot of these heads of these different camps, you know, of the different leavens of you know, so like the uh, 11 of the different bodies of camps. All right. You see, they know that they're wrong, man. All right. But they have that pride, man. All right. They have that pride, man. All right. You see. So going back. Going back here. All right. It says, and if it isn't rendered all right, inactive by cooking. All right. And what's that cooking, man? You got to you got to you got to you got to go under the fire, man. <laughs> you know, 
you have to you have you have to purge out man all right you have to purge it out man you see <laughs> let me see here let's go back here man all right and that's what the lord is doing with us man all right he's putting us under that fire all right that fire of what adversity man okay hell hell, hell that can come with being rebuked by your brothers man okay you see because look 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 Speaking as a man, and especially a man inside of this faith, through the spirit, all right? I've been rebuked before a bunch of times, man, all right? It doesn't feel good, all right? At the moment, it doesn't feel good, man, all right? You see? But if you stay humble, man, and, and just take it, okay? And listen, all right? Don't let those demons, you know, cloud your mind up and you're not listening and paying attention. No, man, take it, man. Take that rebuke, man. Because, look, I always think about, look, I'd rather get rebuked by my brethren, okay? You see, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei all right, then then to get rebuked by the heavenly Father through His Son Yahweh Shai. You know what I mean? Like I rather I rather get you know rebuked that way than you know for the Lord to come you know you know you know put me to death, man. Okay, or something or something else crazy, man. Okay, you see. So uh, what is this, this? What am I looking for? Second um, Corinthians. All right, so let's go to this. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, and verse 17. And it says, Therefore, if any man be in Yahweh Shai or, you know, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach or the anointed, all right, he is a new creature, all right? He is a new creature, man, okay? You're a new man, all right? And when you go into that word new, does that mean, Shalakit, does that mean, um, you know, you're, 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 you're born again as far as, you know, coming out of your mother's womb again? No, man. OK. Or you die on this side, you know, physically and then you're reborn again. No, man, that means to be renewed. OK, so when you go into that word new, what what is the Greek word? Kainos, man. OK. All right. Kainos, man. OK. Which we know to, you know, that word to be to 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 uh, mean refreshed. OK. Just like just just like just like in the book. What is that? The book of Revelations. All right. When the Lord said uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, new Jerusalem was going to come down. All right. You see, refreshed, man. All right. Or 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 the scripture where it talks about the Lord said that he was going to give, you know, the nation of Israel his new name. OK, no, it's going to be the same name, man. But it's but but it's going to be but it's going to be refreshed. OK, it's going to be renewed. OK, within within us, man. OK, so that's the version. All right. That you have to be, man, in order to in order to receive salvation, man. All right. You see that's what this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding does, man. All right? It makes you a new creature, man. Okay? So let's go. Let's, let, let's finish this off. It says, Therefore, if any man be in the anointed, Yahweh Shai, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. What are those old things, man? That, that's you being a nigga, okay? And when you look at, when you look at these other camps, you know, the, the latest example, like I mentioned earlier, the latest example being Sakari, all right? You see, you can tell, man, they do a lot of, you know, they, they, they have they have not cut off a lot of things from the past. OK, you see the old things. All right. The old men, they have not shaved that off, man. These, these dudes are still niggas in the truth, man. All right. Niggas and fringes, man. You see. All right. Hey, the brother, the brother actually sent the video. Uh, it's actually on Sakari's page. All right. I'm not going to play it. But, you know, hey, if you want to, you can go over there and, you know, check it out. OK, but it's a uh, but it's a uh, guerrilla Hebrew in the middle. Uh, uh, Hassad is on one side. Salakia, you know, Hassad is on one side and, and, and he's bringing up an interaction over the phone that uh, guerrilla Hebrew had. Uh, 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 I'm pretty much speaking to some niggas, man. OK, I forgot. I forgot the one guy's name, man. Um, um, it's a it's, uh, it's, uh, famous, um, a famous guy. He's a he's a manager of a lot of different uh, music, you know, rappers or whatever. I forgot his name, Salakia, but he's a famous uh, a blood gang member, man. You see, why are you even talking to these niggas, man? OK, why are you even associated with niggas, man? All right. You see? The Lord told us in the scriptures, man, be be not be not uh, be not uh, uh, um, um, unequally yoked with um, with unbelievers, man. All right. Even when you watch the video, man. All right. It's a it's it's a pretty lengthy video. You know, like I said, you know, if you want to go check it out, go go over to Sakari's pages. OK. 
and check it out. All right. But, you know, you could tell those guys, they didn't believe, man. Those guys, they, they were even scoffing at, at, at the whole term of being called an Israelite, man. You see? So why were you, why, why were you even trying to break bread with those guys, man? You see? That, that, that just shows, man, that these guys, they still have that connection, all right, to that old man, okay? That they don't want to shave off or cut off, man. That's that, that's that leaven, okay? And we have to get rid of that, you see? All right. If you are if you are if you are truly sincere. All right. You're going to get you're going to cut that off, man. You're going to repent and you're going to cut that off, man. OK. It says old things are passed away. All right. It's dead, man. All right. The scriptures talk about killing that old man. OK. You see, it says, behold, all things are become new. All right. Refreshed. All right. Because even when you go into that word new, right. Same same Greek word, kainos, which means to be refreshed. All right. You see? See, it says freshness, okay? Be, to be refreshed. All right? So let's go back. All right? It says, uh, going back to the Google, all right? Why is yeast or leaven, right? Uh, 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 um, in bread, all right? Or in this case, within the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, different bodies of camps, right? It says bad for you, all right? Uh, continuing on, it says, and, and if, and if, it isn't rendered inactive, all right. So if it isn't, <laughs> if it isn't, you know, you know, you know, brought through that fire, all right. If it isn't put 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 under that microscope, all right, pointed out and cut out, all right. It says by cooking, as it would be in a baker's, uh, so like a baking bread, it can actually rob your body, all right, or the body of these different camps, of uh. uh Themen, okay, Salakia. I don't. Let's go into that word because I don't even know how to pronounce that. Salakia. All right. It says, um, let's see. It says a a vitamin of of the B complex found, all right, in the refined grains, beans, and liver. All right. A deficiency with so like a, a deficiency of which causes uh, berry berry. Yeah, I don't know. It says berry berry. It says a a a disease is so like a disease causing inflammation of the nerves and heart failure. All right. So 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 pretty much, man, it could kill you. Okay. Too much yeast. Too much yeast and leaven. All right. It could kill you, man. Okay, if you if you don't if you don't point it out and cut it out, man, it could it could destroy the entire body, man. All right, period, man. All right, and that's why the Lord tell us, man. Hey, hey, don't even hold on to a little bit of that old man. Cut that nigga off, man. Kill him, man. Okay, that goes for you, women. You know, you you, you sincere sisters in this truth too, man. Okay, you can't you can't still be that old nigga woman, man. Okay. Cut that, cut that chick off, man, okay? Cut that chick off in all of her different ways, man. Her mindsets, her attitudes, cut it off, man, all right? You see? But mainly speaking to the men, all right? Be because, because it starts with us, man, all right? You see? So let me continue. Let me uh, just get this, get the rest of these scriptures, and then we'll, we'll, we'll uh, close it out. One more scripture, all right? So that's what's going on with these other camps, man. That's, that's pretty much the point, all right? These other camps, they have... You know, a, a, a leaven within their camp still, man. All right, and it's and it all starts with their camp heads, man. Okay, all right. We just read in the scriptures, man. Hey, 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 so is so is the head or the leader. All right, so so are the people, man. It's gonna trickle down that same spirit, man. All right, they're gonna come in that same spirit, man. Okay, that's why you see ISUPK, man. You see all of their members, all right, all the way down to the, you know, the the uh, the lowest level member. Okay. Wearing those boots and all black and, you know, you know, coming with that tough guy spirit, man. You see? All right. So, 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 hey, man. Hey, hey when you look at Apostle Tahar, man. Hey, when you see us, you see Apostle Tahar, man. All right. When you see Apostle Tahar, man, you, you see, you see Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. Period, man. All right. You see? And, and, and the apostles and elders of Great Millstone make sure that the body has no leaven in it, man. Okay. Period. All right. And that's what these other camps are not doing. All right. So let me get this and then we'll uh, close it out. All right. It's the book of Second Timothy's chapter four. And I'll start at verse one. 
All right, and it reads, it says, I charge thee, therefore, before Yahweh and the Lord, so like and the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, all right, who shall judge the quick, all right, which are, you know, us that are woken up into this faith, all right, the elect, the hopeful elect, Salakia. It says, and the dead, all right, which is two thirds of the nation of Israel, those that don't want to repent, all right, it says, at, at his appearing and his kingdom, verse two, preach the word, be instant in season out of season reprove rebuke exhort with all long suffering and doctrine all right and that's and that's what i mentioned earlier man this is a part of the ministry man all right that right there this is a part of the ministry man okay so these guys that can't take rebuke man they're not they're not really coming in the spirit of yahweh shimei al shai man okay verse three it says for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine man and that's what we're witnessing right now man starting with the heads of these different bodies of camps man okay you see and guess what man they're coming with those uh, uh um they're not enduring in sound doctrine and it's just trickling down to you know the other members in their body man okay it says but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears man okay having itching ears man so like let me go into that word itching all right it says to scratch tickle make it make to itch uh desirous of hearing something pleasant yeah man okay it sounds good to them to go to 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 uh to uh, have this doctrine that goes against or you know you know you know goes against whatever you know the apostles and elders at great millstone are teaching man okay that makes that's that that's a ple you know you know pleasant or pleasurable to them okay yeah she looks she look apostle gabar said to the or apostle har said to the see these are your leaders see 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 that's why all of their followers are like this because they're like this see you know false accusing man okay but that's but that but that brings but that that brings these guys pleasure okay to go against whatever the apostles and elders of great millstone are, are teaching man okay it says, uh, verse four, it says, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. All right. You see, and shall be turned unto fables, man. All right. Unto fables, man. All right. A speech, word, saying. All right. A narrative story. All right. Because that's the whole narrative right now, man. All right. Going against the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. All right. It says a fiction, a fable. All right. An invention, a falsehood. Okay. So that's so that's what it is, man. All right. You see? So so that's why when you know, you know, you know, going out to these other these other heads of these different camps, all right, your glory is not good, man. Okay? It's not good, it's not in truth, it's not in sincerity, man, all right? And it's not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rikakwadash, Shalawam, and Ababa Ball.